What is a really easy way to fix hands in your stable diffusion generated images? How about having a library of hands that is just ready to go? As it happens, you can add your own depth maps too, allowing you to generate anything you like. And it's all thanks to this depth library extension for ControlNet in Automatic 11.11. At the moment, you will have to install the extension manually by going over to the Extensions tab and then install from URL, paste the URL, click install, and then reload the UI. You'll then have a depth library tab up at the top. Links are, of course, down in the description. Say you've generated an image of a waving woman in text to image, and here she is, all lovely and, oh my, that isn't quite the hand I want, is it? Let's head over to that depth map library this extension gives us and see if we can fix this up. As you can see, here we have a library of depth maps and some controls. You can also add your own depth maps if you have any. Let's take a quick look at this extension there in the maps directory. So in your stable diffusion directory, you've got extensions and then this extension. And in there you've got maps. As you can see, it's got all the hands. So if you just add your own depth maps into there, then they'll appear in your library. The first thing to do here at the moment is set the width and height manually. I want this to match my text to image size exactly, so I'm going to set this to 704 by 704. Once I've done that, I can simply add it as a background image. And there she is with her lovely hand. There is a waving hand in the bottom row there, which looks perfect for me. If I select this waving hand, it will appear in the selected box there. You will also notice you can drag or upload any image you want. Once it's in that little box, click add and it will appear on the big box on the right. There are lots and lots of blue controls there, so don't worry, even though it's rather large, you can shrink that hand down. With these other controls, you can also flip it around as well a little bit if you want. So there we go, we can have it the other way too. And with the top one there, you can rotate it slightly. So with a little bit of playing with these controls, let's get this hand into the place that I want it. After you've got the hand exactly where you want it, you've got two options. Save as PNG, which is very useful if you want to use it in inpainting later, or you can click Send to ControlNet, and that will take you straight back to the Text to Image tab with this depth map in the ControlNet 0, your first tab over there. Let's scroll down a little bit to take a look at this control net. So we've got enable, yes, we'll have that, preprocessor none, and we'll select the depth model because that is a depth map. Now, one thing with this is that it will change your whole image quite a lot. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to turn the weight down very low indeed. I'm going to have it about 0.15, there we go. And then when I generate, it will look like this. And there she is, the, the look, the normal number of fingers and a thumb and she's waving, but the rest of the image has changed a fair bit. Okay, what can we do about that? What if we want exactly the same image? Well, that's right, yes, we can do this in InPainting. So here is that original image in the InPainting tab. And if we scroll down, we can go back to the control net, enable this, drop in the PNG that we saved. We'll turn guess mode on as well. And we'll also have the depth model. The weight I'm going to leave at one again this time. Of course, the prompt I have changed to waving hand. So all I need to do now is just draw the mask and we'll replace that hand with something completely different. So this time we've got exactly the same image, but we've only changed the hand. And as she waves goodbye, I think she's also suggesting that you watch this Nerdy Rodent video next.